Assembly could have passed third term, says Wabara, former president of the Senate, Senator Adolfos Wabara, has said Nigerians should thank God President Mamadou Buhari is not asking for third term. Otherwise, the Ninth Assembly, led by Senator Ahmed Lawal, would have passed it. Wabara stated this yesterday at a book launch at the former. President of the Senate and Chief of Chieftain of the All Progressive Congress APC, Senator Ken Namani, on how he killed Todd Tem. Namani launched his book yesterday titled Stand Up Strong on How He I Killed the Todd Tem Agenda of former President Olusegun Obasanjo. The events which as chaired by the uh, former defense minister, General Teofilos Danjuma, had in attendance, Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, and many of APC chief teams. <laughs> as what he said might sound jokingly, but he was saying the truth indeed. Indirectly, he has indirectly insulted Buhari there and indirectly also insulted the Senate. But they might laugh about it, but it's not funny because what he said is true. This very Senate can prove approve anything for President Momodu Buhari. If Buhari should want to run for third term right now, those so called rubber stamp Senate, they will approve it without even asking questions. That is as far as they can go. And you all know what I'm saying is the truth because it's what we all know they are capable of doing so if what wabara said is true or not our people can start um, castigating him or insulting him on the basic of what happened in his own time when he was the senate president however we all know that what he said is true this so-called national assembly or whatever they are case eh he go enter history no be smell all of them especially this lawan lawan is just if he go ahead, whatever it is that he's asked to do, he does without asking question. Hmm. This man is just something else. So if he said something and he laughed about it indirectly, he didn't know that Wabara just insulted him for being incompetent and always allowing people to push him around. Well, the worst National Assembly in Nigeria history, Lawan and Baja. We all know that that is it. Wabara forgot that he lost election and OBJ used money to settle the rightful winner so that he, Wabara, could be used as Senate president. We are not dead to history. Points noted, but that is not what we are talking about. Yet he withstood OBJ in an evil cause, but his night assembly would support any evil cause to die as long as PMB just imagine it without saying it. <laughs> oh, even if he was, um, Obasanjo placed him where he is, but he never danced to the tunes of Obasanjo because he never allowed Obasanjo to go in or to um, put the rule or to uh, to make the law of, of anything concerning third term presidency. We all know that they can only two do two, which is the first and the second and nothing more that is a fact lawan is a rubber stamp who knows that buhari is clueless he will prefer to keep buhari at the end of affairs so that their looting can go on hmm. where is check and balance that is pretty that is characterized with democracy in this regime as we were taught in secondary school i want to advise nigerians to call evil to be evil, even if it is your parents that are involved. Hmm. Why are you displaying your ignorance? Waraba was only telling Nigerians that if PMB wants or wish to be given to them, Lawan and Bajabia Miller will sign it immediately. And he's right. He was only telling Nigerians that the National Assembly is just an errand boys that we do anything without considering the implication. In Nigeria, they can never look at the president and say no sir fools everywhere Todd for buhari is impossible even the rubber stamp does does its job as usual the masses will revolt remember answers oh
and what happened with the entrance. Did anything happen? I beg, are they now being reminded that it is in their character to do such evil? We have never had it this bad in history of National Assembly in Nigeria. Always there to approve loans for Bihari. Okay, uh, what is bad is bad. Hmm. Oh goodness, these people have started again. If I get a hold of something as bad as hitting these people hard, I would have done it because this so-called Senate are so annoying, very, very annoying. Well, what is bad is bad. We all know uh, and approving loans that is what developed countries use to develop their countries. Even if we do take loans to invest in businesses. Enough of this worry hatred. Let the man be. So successful governments in Nigeria govern without loan taking even in the midst of plenty. I don't just get you at all. Well, if you like, say whatever you want to say, you can refer to whoever you want to refer to. Useless Yorubama with hatred towards Igbo. Thank God today, cup of beans is so a cup of beans is so expensive. An average Yoruba man can't afford it anymore. I don't understand. And how does that have to do with everything happening here? All those people are busy making money for themselves. They don't even care about the masses. They don't care about who, who lives. And we, the average man, sees here we are busy um, um, raining insults on each other, cursing each other for no reason. So, if you like, you can call a Yoruba man, whatever name you want to call him, does not make any difference. You can call an Igbo man, whatever name you want to call it, it doesn't make any difference. That will not change Buhari from being the evil kind of person he is, or for being deaf to the cry of the masses. So, it is better for we to cooperate and stop fighting ourselves and fight those people over there. You are no idiot and stupid animal on earth. So, Igbo's planting beans inside their bedroom for them to afford it easily, Abby. <laughs> well, you should continue fighting over beans. We don't care less. I totally agree with Senator Wabara. The Ninth Senate, led by Lawan and Baja, have never said no to any request made by Buhari, including all the loans he has been borrowing. <laughs> well, contra, nobody repeats nobody in Nigeria can conspire or could lie to force thought <laughs> Especially with this worst terrorist regime, hmm. Romba Stam could have done it long time ago. Those that were about were not Romba Stam. What did they achieve when they were there? How do they move this country? Hmm. Just imagine. I think you don't even know what you're saying because if you know, you know that at those that were not Romba Stams that were there, their case were different. At least we're not buying a cup of rice uh, at the rate of. Uh, uh, 150 or 200 like we are buying now so what are you saying so it is better for we to at least call a spade a spade and give kudos to those that deserve it and say well done to those that deserve it well you can go to the comment section and share your take on this article thanks for listening